It's just been announced that archaeologists in Rome have discovered a medieval Jewish cemetery and the discovered remains are sending out a message far, far beyond the grave. In testament of the harsh conditions Jews in the area were forced to endure between the 14th and mid-17th centuries. 38 well-preserved skeletons were unearthed in the central neighborhood of Trastevere. The location's long been called the Field of the Jews. Inhabitants of the area once belonged to the oldest Jewish community in Europe, and Jews can trace their presence in Rome to two centuries before the Common Era. Many were brought as slaves from the Holy Land after the Roman Empire conquered Judea in the year 70 CE. The community suffered many hardships due to persecution from the ruling popes. In 1555, they were forced to live in a segregated ghetto near the cemetery. They had to pay extra taxes, wear signs on their clothes identifying them as Jews, and even attend church in attempts to convert them. They were also often persecuted by local mobs, and the unearthed bones showed signs of malnutrition. Jews usually aren't buried with many items. Only two small gold rings were found on the fingers of a deceased woman, and part of a scale was buried with a man, perhaps as an indicator of his profession. By 1625, Pope Urban VII demanded all tombstones in the Jewish cemetery be destroyed, and no new markers were allowed to be placed on any of the graves. All that's been found so far is one tiny fragment of a tombstone with a few letters in Hebrew, believed to be the word here.